Hey guys, welcome back to Supposedly Fun. I am Greg, here to tell you about two books that I recently finished. Now, I've had a really good reading month in April so far. I've read a lot of really great books. I haven't had a single dud yet. I mean, I know the month is not over yet, so there's still time. But I, I, I can't wait to do a wrap-up video for this month and tell you all about them. It's going to be brutal picking my favorite, although I think I have an idea. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, let's just talk about the two books. I'll talk about the one I finished first, first... And that is A Fine Balance by Rohint and Mystery. This is something that had been on my bucket list. It was one of the books I wanted to prioritize from my bucket list for this year, so I'm so glad I finally got to it. I had a feeling I was really going to like this book, and it did not disappoint at all. I really, really liked it. It is a chunky book, very long, but I, I never felt bored while I was getting through it. I just loved it so much. So it also was in interesting because it follows... Uh, a part of history that I really didn't know much about, which is India in 1975. Uh, Indira Gandhi's the Prime Minister. She is never mentioned by name. They only refer to her as the Prime Minister. And it talks about a lot of really corrupt things that the government did, a lot of horrible, brutal things the government did. There were forced sterilizations, um, arrests, deaths. It's, it, it, it's horrible. But the book is really about uh, people in the middle of that who are trying to get by trying to build a life, and it's it's really, it's about humanity surviving in times of crisis and in pretty bleak times, which is a message that resonated very much. Uh, and I, I really liked it. This is definitely something that is being added to my favorite shelf, along with two other books that I finished this month, which you'll hear about. Like I said, this is a chunky book. It is well worth your time. I definitely recommend it. And the other book I, li I listened to on audio, it is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is inspired by the story of Fleetwood Mac. It tells the story of a band in the 70s. Um, th they start out as the Six and do a song with a rising star at the time called Daisy Jones, and it becomes wildly popular. She starts selling tickets to their tour, and they invite her to work on their next album. Hence, they are no become known as Daisy Jones and the Six, because it's kind of like a Daisy Jones featuring the Six since she was the one who was selling the tickets. But it's about the creation of the, that album, which becomes a landmark, and the difficulties that they go through in getting it made, and the creative process, and just dealing with each other, because it, these it, it's, it's interesting. I've seen so many movies about the creative process behind al creating an album, and writing music, and creating music, and um, the difficulties of working together in a band. There's so many, so many movies about it, but it never really hit me is something that was particularly interesting until I read this book. I really enjoyed it a lot. I, I, I thought the whole process behind the creation of art and how it gets created and what you sacrifice in order to do it was really interesting. And uh, it, it's told as an oral history, which is something that I've kind of been exploring myself. I hadn't seen it done in novel form, and I thought it was a really great way to tell the story. I will say there's a little, I can't say, I can't say what it is, but there's a twist at the end uh, about the oral history that I didn't think landed very well, but other, it didn't even matter because I just really liked the book a lot. And I, I like, I love the way it was told. The characters all feel real and vibrant. And I think that goes down to the oral history. It feels like they're talking to you. They feel like they have their own personalities. So many times when you read um, a book that has alternating chapters that are told from different viewpoints, the chapters all sound like the same person, and you don't get that in this book. And that could very well be that because I listened to the audio, uh, I have that impression, and that's not the way it would read on the page. Uh, the audiobook is performed by a cast of people, so that and and it's not just like a cast of audiobook people. They they got act, they have Jennifer Beals. Um, they have the guy who played Pornstash on Orange is the New Black, pa 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 Pablo Schreiber, I think is Schreiber is his name. Uh, they got Benjamin Bratt and Judy Greer. It's a great cast. They perform their parts really well. That could be why I got the impression that these voices really stand out and feel unique, but I feel like if I was reading it on the page, it would have been the same thing. Uh, if you've read the book on paper, let me know if you disagree, but I just, I, I really liked the way each voice sounded different. Each person sounded like they had their own unique personality and approach to things. I, I, I really enjoyed this book as well. I, uh, like I said, I've been on a roll <laughs> in the month of April with books, uh, so I feel like any other month this would be a contender for my favorite book of the month. Uh, I think it's going to be in the mix, but, uh, you know, 
And I thought it was interesting, too. I, I, I know somebody who is a huge Fleetwood Mac fan, and she went into this because she was really intrigued by that angle, and she was kind of disappointed. Um, so it's possible that if, uh, if you're really familiar with the story of Fleetwood Mac, you could expect something that you're not really going to get. For me, I know the, the basic outlines of Fleetwood Mac's story as they created the Rumors album and all the fights they were going through and the hookups and breakups and the drug abuse. Uh, but, you know, I, not, I'm not familiar with it enough that I wasn't looking for things in this that I didn't get. Uh, the other that the other that reminds me the other thing that I found really interesting about this was its portrayal of addiction. I I, I thought that was really well done and really layered. Uh, I I definitely recommend this book as well, and I definitely recommend the audio because the performances of the actors it really made it come alive to me, and I I don't really like that saying, but there it is. It really did come alive for me. So there you go. Those are two books that I read recently. Uh, if you've read either of these and you disagree or agree, leave a comment. We can talk about it. And uh, if you have other recommendations based on these, let me know that as well. As always, thank you for your time watching this video. I am having oral surgery tomorrow. So if you're watching this later, ignore that. It doesn't matter. But if you're watching this live now, the day it is published, please know I may disappear for a couple of days and I'll come back when I'm feeling better. So anyway, just a, a fun little note. But again... Thank you for your time watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll hit subscribe or watch some of my other videos. If you already did, thank you especially. And I'll be back again once I'm recovered. Until then, happy reading.